What was absolutely central to this piece is the contrast between the, the conservative post-war uh, parents. Uh, so we get the new look and Dior, which I think is absolutely beautiful, but it's in a sense quite conservative. So uh, Gertie, Hamlet's mother, is wearing this, uh, uh, which will be black, beautiful Dior uh, costume. So exuding wealth, but as I say, a sort of conservative quality. And then contrasted with uh, the rebellion of rock and roll. So we get the classic teddy boy, um, you know, this sort of the feeling of sort of sexual violence almost that you get from teddy boys. Uh, and also Ham Hamlet himself uh, starts off in national service costume, but then goes into a uh, classic sort of leather clad uh, uh, rocker. Uh, sort of biker type. As well as uh, Hamlet and uh, uh, becoming a rocker and, and uh, Waltz of the character, a teddy boy, when we first see Ophelia, she's a, uh, a rebellious teenager, so she takes on, I mean, obviously in the 1950s, the teenage look was invented and, uh, and Ophelia very much becomes part of that, you know, smoking and drinking and really upsetting her, uh, her, her parents. And then she goes into something a little bit more conservative in the second half as she becomes slightly uh, depressed. Uh, and this is her costume for the second half. I've always loved uh, the 1950s look, particularly the British, the British look, the teddy boy look, which is also obviously something that's very different, although inspired by what was happening in America, uh, its own very distinct, distinctive look. The music was not that different, very much inspired by the Americans, but you know, I like bands like Johnny Kidd and the Pirates. Uh, um, Sounds American, but still has that very British flavour. And a lot of that is within this musical. 